Is Boris on board Sea Explorer Yacht Club de Monaco has been sailing in this uh, west northwesterly wind, jiving back and forth uh, along here towards the ice exclusion zone. Um, and that's based, that wind has basically been generated by this high pressure up towards the northeast of him, which is uh, rotating around like this. And this is the dominating feature for the top 10 boats in the fleet right now. Uh, in the next few days, the situation is going to get quite complicated, and we'll have a look at why that might be um, in a little bit. But if we have a look at the satellite images, um, we can quite clearly identify the high pressure. We can see this area of almost no cloud activity at all, and this is where the high pressure is centered. And that's directly north at the moment of uh, Matricock, Yannick Bestow, and he's currently leading the fleet about 400 miles ahead of Boris over here. But what's going to happen in the next few days, if we go back to the, the wind conditions right now, this high pressure is going to make its way down towards the uh, southeast, directly in the path of the fleet. Um, and as we know, in the center of a high pressure, there's very little wind. So you can almost imagine that the path it's taking, there's going to be almost no wind here. At the same time, you can see that the ice gate is actually going to start forcing the fleet up towards the north. So um, this whole area is going to be quite uh, quite blocked, really, for the um, for the fleet to get towards the east. Um, if we have a look at what that might look like, so in 24 hours' time, you can see the... Oh, sorry, this is in uh, 48 hours' time. We can see the high pressure has moved down towards the southeast. Um, and you can effectively draw a line as to where the fleet might be able to get to. Um, you could either sail down to here, or you could sail um, up as far as where this star is and kind of the expected position that Boris will be in um, in uh, 48 hours' time. Um, so it's a bit of a tricky situation because if you were to go for this slightly more southerly option along the ice gate, um, you would eventually get trapped by this high pressure with no wind at all. So um, what might be a better situation is to sail higher now and then to be able to come over the top and round the back of the high pressure um, and to try and stay in better wind later on. We have a look at what that might look like in uh, four days time so on christmas day the 25th of december you can see how this high pressure has moved right down towards the, the southeast now and boris is expected to be sat somewhere towards the northwest of it but um he will have to be tacking and sailing upwind in this uh, quite light wind condition so it's really quite a tricky scenario in terms of uh in terms of weather for the next few days although it's going to be quite light it's going to be difficult to find the breeze and to sail the fastest course towards the east um, we can see here that it's not until the 28th of December, um, midnight UTC, that he actually starts to pick up the next weather system, which is this uh, low pressure, quite strong here, which is going to slowly make its way towards the, uh, towards the east. And he's going to be somewhere around here, just about touching the new wind. But as we can see behind him, there's very little wind at all. So it's going to be quite a complicated situation and uh, expect to see some, uh, some interesting strategical calls amongst the fleet.